New and only on six, the Indiana Attorney General's office is facing scrutiny for violations of the Indiana Public Records Law. Greg Zeller's office is known as a champion for transparency and openness in government, but a man living in Hamilton County says getting records from the agency has been a nightmare. Call six investigator Kara Kinney joins us now with the story. Kara? Well, Erica, the Attorney General's office holds public access seminars across the state, educating people on public records and open meetings laws. But after a man complained, the public access counselor found the Attorney General's office violated the public records law three times. I filed a complaint. Paul Strawn is a retired federal government worker who says his father, Max, was mistreated by two Indiana doctors. His dad has now passed away. I have a very deep and abiding respect for all veterans. The victim in this case, my father, was a World War II disabled veteran, disabled as a result of his military service. He was left crippled for 66 years. <coughs> Excuse me. Strawn asked the Attorney General's office to investigate his allegations. They closed the case, but Strawn says they never interviewed key witnesses. We have reviewed all available evidence, and we can't prove a violation uh, has occurred. Well, that's simply a false statement. They couldn't possibly review all available evidence. I'm the lead witness in this case. I've never been interviewed. Frustrated, Strawn filed a request for documents on his father's case under the Indiana Access to Public Records Act. I contend the Attorney General's office never properly investigated my complaint. So the APRA was my last resort to find out that information. Strawn says he still didn't get the records he needed and filed an appeal with the public access counselor. The public access counselor found the Attorney General's office violated the public records law three times, including failing to preserve records and wrongly blacking out information. Well, I'm like, wow. I mean, uh, I just said, holy smokes. Uh, uh, I was, what can you say? I was dumbfounded. The AG's office declined an on-camera interview, but told us their chief deputy AG met with Strawn to resolve his issue. Quote, we strive to complete all public records requests promptly, and we have a good working relationship with the public access counselor's office. We always address complaints fully. The public access counselor's opinions are advisory only. There is no penalty or even a requirement for us to comply with them. My goal here is I just want my complaint to get a fair shake. The Attorney General's office also points out Strawn's public records requests are complex and they've spent 40 hours of staff time retrieving these records for him. The AG also points out they did not charge Strawn a copying fee for his requests in the interest of transparency. Strawn says he only filed a records request as a last resort after he says the agency failed to fully investigate his complaint in the first place. Kara Kenny, RTV6.